Good morning everybody. We are at Hanging Rock Reserve for our Friday fun day. So we're going to take you along with us. We're just finishing our picnic and then we're going to go for a hike up to the top of the mountain so it should be fun. Are you excited Lily? She says she's excited but we haven't started yet. Oh. Yeah, and then I give it to him and he's saying, no, 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 that's a pretty good warning, huh? <laughs> yeah. Climbing to the top of Hanging Rock is strenuous and can cause fatigue. Those suffering medical conditions are advised to take extreme care. Alright, so the last time we came up here, I was seven and a half months pregnant with Carter. And the next week I went into labour with him early. So, I guess we'll see how we go. No one's pregnant though this time. Hey Carter, yeah. you were mummy's belly last time? Do you think you can get to the top? <sighs> Ammon, do you think, look how big these trees are. Up, 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 up. Some of them, yeah, they've been chopped down a bit. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of being in New Zealand, don't you think? The same sort of forest. I'm gonna be so surprised if he makes it all the way to the top. You can do it, Carter! You can do it! <laughs> he wants to copy Mammy and walk backwards. Come on! The old people used to drink, used to wash their hands with. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Maybe. You have been fine. You gonna try climb that one, Ammon? No, 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 no climbing. You can climb these rocks. You're just not allowed to climb the ones like those ones over there. Oh. Wait, Carter's just know. loving all this dirt. How are you going, Ammon? Good. Good, you've been working so hard. And Carter is loving it. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to have sore legs tomorrow, though. So beautiful. My legs work, work, work. Come on, Lily. Work, 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 work. Come on. down these stairs. Look how beautiful it is everyone. Alright, you're doing it yourself. He doesn't want anybody to help him. Keep going. You got it. Yay! Can you do these ones too? Hold on to the rail. We got it. We got it. Okay, so we're going to go get a treat now, because after every good hike needs a good treat, right Oren? Yeah. It's still kind of cold though, so we've probably only got ice cream as our options, but 
that might be what we get. Ice cream. Oh no, we lost Carter. Go backwards. You finished, Evan? Always waiting for that kid, honestly. Oh. special we always get a magnet for our fridge that's what we collect our souvenirs not too expensive although this is ridiculously expensive at eight dollars for a magnet so yeah now we're going to head home it's about 40 minute drive and we should be home in time to just relax for the afternoon and enjoy the rest of this beautiful weather look at it hanging rock Okay, so we just got home from our trip that we went to to Hanging Rock for our hiking. And so I thought I'd talk about how we do our homeschool. We do a four-day work week, which means we do our school Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday we take off and we do something fun usually. But there's a lot of reasons for this. Like when we first started homeschooling, I did Monday to Friday, 9 to 3 every day. Just like they would in um, public school. Because I thought, you know, if they're not doing that much school, they're not doing enough because that's what they would be doing if they were at school. But it quickly led to burnout and I burnt out fast. And it was horrible and it was hard and I thought, you know, what am I doing wrong? No one is enjoying this. This is horrible. What can I do to change it? So I like brainstormed a few different ideas and I came up with um, a four day work week, which is not unusual because lots of other people do that as well. Um, so one of the benefits is that you don't get burnt out so fast we homeschool all through the year so year round we kind of break it up into like two parts so the first part is usually from january through to the end of october where we do all our curriculum like we buy a curriculum and they have their workbooks and things like that and they teach i teach lessons with them through those months with the goal of all their workbooks being finished by the end of october november ish and then we, the second part is summer school, where I make up like a pack for them, or I purchase little bits and pieces, where they um, do the work by themselves, and maybe for like half an hour, 45 minutes a day, just to keep the momentum going. And a four day work week helps us to be able to stay on track, because it helps us to stay on track where we don't burn out, and we don't need to like take massive breaks because everybody knows when you take massive breaks from homeschool or from school in general that it's like such a struggle to get back into it like the kids like when you first come back to school everyone is complaining no one wants to do their work they forgot how to do things that they could do like two weeks ago like i remember taking a break for two and a half three weeks i think and all of a sudden my kids knew nothing like they couldn't read anymore they couldn't do their maths anymore and it took me maybe another two weeks to get them back to where they were before where they could remember what they were actually doing so a four-day work week keeps us less stressed um, it lets us uh, have enough time to run errands on Fridays like we don't always run errands but you know you have that time to make doctor's appointments not you know non-essential doctor's appointments um, go to the dentist uh, I usually do my groceries on Friday morning. Um, the mechanic, we just had someone replace the, black, the brake pads in our other car. Um, yeah, all those sort of things. And then we can go out for the day. Uh, quite often in the afternoons, we'll um, ring up some friends and we'll go to the park after they've finished school because a lot of their friends are still at public school. <coughs> and they're all free in the afternoons. And Friday's a great time because no one's got homework after school. They can do it on the weekend, so we often do that get some pizzas and we'll take it down to the park um, and then they also have the freedom to be able to work on their projects we do a lot of projects in our family that's a whole another video but they have their own personal projects that they're working on um, at the moment Lily is working really hard on her baking skills so she loves to bake and so on Fridays one of the things that she can do in the mornings is she'll like get out all her baking stuff and she'll practice icing cakes or making cupcakes and cookies and things like that Oren is working on this paper mache thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but he loves it. And he loves to have that time where he can work on it uninterrupted. No one's going to say, all right, time to do your math, time to do 
whatever else. <coughs> and so they have all these other things that they're really interested in that they can have a whole day to work on, you know, if we're not going out somewhere. Or usually if we do go out, it's only for like half a day. So we went out this morning. We actually left a bit late. Usually would leave in the morning, but I had to drop my niece at the airport. So now it's like four o'clock-ish. And they're inside, and Oren's gone to work on his project, and Lily is, I don't know what she's doing. I'm just still in the car because Carter's asleep. We're just waiting for him to wake up. But yeah, so that's one of the reasons, well, a few of the reasons why a four-day work week really works for us. I don't get stressed out. The kids don't get stressed out. Everybody knows that there's a break coming, and there's time for everything to fit in. Um, we also, we do get all our schoolwork done, usually, Monday through Thursday. If Friday is going to be like a really horrible day, like weather-wise, and we can't go out. But, you know, Wednesday was a really nice day, so we might just switch it up. So we'll take Wednesday off and then do school on Friday. Doesn't really matter too much. But, yeah, that is why a four-day work week works amazing for us. It's taken a lot of trial and error to figure out that that works for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it might not work for every family, but, yeah, it works for us. If you want to come along and see what we did today on our fun day Friday, stay tuned because I'll put the video next, um, I'll add it onto this. And um, yeah, remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to know more about homeschooling, check out our website um, www.homeschoolhere.com. I'll put the link in the description and you can check it out there. There's lots of different homeschool schedules that I've put up or ideas that might be able to help you. Especially if you're a new homeschooler, it is overwhelming. And um, trying to get past the whole public school mentality and doing school at home. Not trying to bring, you know, a brick and mortar school into your house. Because you can do so much more. Make it so much better, so much different. To suit your kids and to suit your family. And um, that's what really matters in the end. So yeah, come along and join us for the rest of our Sunday Friday.